From September 4th to 7th, heavy rain fell in the Ankang area in Shanxi province. At 7:50 a.m. on September 6th, a landslide occurred at the entrance of the Pingli Tunnel. This tunnel was located at the 600 kilometer mark on the Ankang to Pingli freeway. Approximately 10,000 cubic meters of debris quickly buried the tunnel entrance, causing two-way traffic disruption. Fortunately, there were no casualties or vehicle damage. The extent of damage to the tunnel is unknown. At 6 p.m. on September 7th, after intensive repair work, the Pingli Tunnel in the Hubei to Ankang direction was ready for two-way traffic, while the repair work for the buried tunnel entrance is still ongoing. According to official media reports, a total of 43 excavators, hydraulic breakers, dump trucks, and other mechanical equipment were put into the repair work, and more than 120 emergency personnel were dispatched. The freeway from Ankang City to Pingli County in Shanxi Province has a total length of 61 kilometers, with a two-way four-lane design. Its design speed is 80 kilometers per hour, and the road bed width is 24.5 meters. The freeway is a key construction project in Shanxi Province, with a total estimated cost of 5.95 billion yuan. Construction started in September 2011, and the freeway was opened to traffic in November 2015. The total construction volume of this freeway is over 11 million cubic meters of road bed earthwork, 386,000 cubic meters of protective drainage, 90 bridges with a total length of 22 kilometers. Ten tunnels was a total length of 13 kilometers, and bridges and tunnels accounting for 57 percent of the total length of the route. Such a large-scale project was completed and open to traffic in only four years, so the construction speed is simply astounding. However, less than six years after it was open to traffic, a collapse occurred and the tunnel entrance was buried. According to official media reports, at about 5 p.m. on September 7th. A landslide occurred at the entrance of the Junjiaping Tunnel at the 66-kilometer mark in the direction of Baoxia to Yishui Freeway, blocking the roadway. Staff quickly organized repair and cleanup of the road. At about 7 a.m. on the 8th, a second collapse occurred at the same location. The authorities did not mention whether it caused any casualties. According to official media reports, this freeway just opened for trial operation on September 3rd. The newly built freeway was open to traffic for only four days before the tunnel entrance was buried by a landslide. On September 3rd, a landslide occurred near a tunnel under construction on the freeway from Daguan County to Yongshan County, Zhao Tong, Yunnan Province. The workers' dormitories and cars were instantly buried by rocks and mud. The tunnel entrance is also partially buried. The tunnel is located in Maoping Village in Yongshan County. On the morning of September 4th. Officials from the Emergency Management Bureau of Yongshan County stated that the landslide caused no casualties due to timely evacuation, and the site is being further cleaned up. Some professionals analyzed that the collapse of the Daiyun Tunnel was a man-made accident. The excavation of the tunnel removed the soil and rocks below, resulting in the overlying rock body changing the state of stress and loosening, and coupled with continuous rainfall, caused the landslide. Above the workers' dormitory, the rocks and soil on both sides of the landslide have already collapsed and deformed, and deep cracks have been formed. There has long been a foreshadowing of the landslide, but what they did was just to use the mesh to prevent the rocks from rolling down. According to the information from the Zhao Tong Highway Administration Department of Yunnan Province, at 10:30 p.m. on September 7th, a landslide occurred on the G247 Highway in Yanjing County, causing the road to be blocked in both directions. The debris amounted to about 15,000 cubic meters. 100 people and 40 vehicles were stranded. Officials said no casualties were found. There were five landslides in six days. What is the reason behind this? Comprehensive analysis of professional literature suggests that frequent occurrence of landslides on freeways is the result of a combination of factors, mainly construction quality, geotechnical investigation. Design problems, construction companies trading safety for profit, as well as natural factors such as geological conditions and rainfall. Construction quality is one of the important factors leading to landslides, and the quality of construction personnel plays an important role. In China, large-scale infrastructure projects generally select construction companies through bidding, and the winning bidders are generally large state-owned enterprises. They will subcontract construction work to contractors. 
and these contractors will continue to subcontract. Generally speaking, the subcontracting of large scale construction projects exceeds three levels. The actual construction workers are mainly migrant workers. For example, in the landslide accident in Zhao Tong, the workers built their dormitories under the steep slope and did not reinforce the rock body even when obvious signs of landslide appeared. The employees and supervising engineers of state owned enterprises are only responsible for technology and management and are not always on site. The construction companies only pay attention to the road, bridge, or tunnel and do not care about the stability of the surrounding rocks. If dealing with potential landslides, there are problems such as design changes and over budget. As long as the project can pass the completion check, the quality and service life of the project is not important. There are often problems in the geotechnical investigation and design. Although the spacing and layout of the investigation points are done in accordance with national standards, potential geological hazards are usually ignored, since it will increase the amount of work done and is not beneficial in the bidding process. In the design process, the representatives of the owner usually require the design companies to carry out so called design optimization in order to reduce the investment amount. Which is to reduce design safety factor. Design companies have to optimize the design and set the hypothetical conditions to the ideal state. If the deformation of the surrounding rock at the tunnel entrance was considered in the design and reinforcement work were included in advance, some landslides may have been avoided. For a long time, the concept of no landslides, no profit has existed in construction companies. Some construction companies and construction personnel even look forward to landslides, thereby increasing the engineering volume or design changes to bring in more profits. On the other hand, construction workers often have the concept that geological work is the designer's task, not the constructor's job, which leads to neglect of geological surveying and prediction during the construction process, which increases the possibility of landslide accidents. In addition, after the landslides occur, construction companies can claim insurance compensation. Geological conditions are mainly related to rock and soil properties, their structure, and groundwater activities. The collapsed soil at the Pingli Tunnel and Junjia Ping Tunnel landslides were mainly brown red, hard, silty clay. The bedrock is argillaceous slate, phyllite, and schist. The rock structure is severely damaged, the joints are developed. The rock body is severely weathered, so it's easy to break. Bedrock swells easily when exposed to water. The region belongs to the southern side of the Qinling Fault System and the eastern edge of the Da Ba Shan Arc, with developed faults. The tunnel construction also changed its original stress state. These landslides were all related to the continuous rainfall in the area. The rainfall caused the water content in the surrounding rock and soil to increase, and its overall stability to decrease. At the same time, its weight increased, causing landslides due to gravity. Of course, there are still many accidents of landslides and tunnel collapses in China, which is a long existing and common phenomenon. Landslides are usually counted as natural disasters, yet in many cases, they could be avoided. However, due to the interest of many parties involved, these avoidable disasters are considered to have happened naturally.